Hello everyone, this is Gazza9422 and we are back with episode 14 of Fortress Craft Evolved Let, uh, Rush Mode. Uh, last episode we did discover some gold. We are going to start processing some of this and we're going to work on Arthur. some gold. So we had 16, so 8 bars is what we should have, which we've got. Gonna create some wooden planks. Exactly. Gonna go into our bench over here. And we're gonna craft ourselves a black exactly. storage crate. The reason we're doing this is because we have got the Arthur Dapper back. So now we've got three of Arthur's Dapper equipment. We're going to make that. We've got the da uh, the Arthur Upgrade pack, and now we can do the Arthur Upgrade uh, Dapper Upgrade pack. So we now got six items compressed down into this one tiny little upgrade pack for Arthur. Alright, one second guys. Sorry about that. Right, um just muted my mic. Alright, we've got quite a bit of resources now. See if we can make a uh, couple of batteries. Arthur, are you up charged? Yep, you're charged. Right, we're gonna run down, we're gonna put as much energy as we can into that gold. Because we're bound to need that at a later date. I think that unlocks a really important upgrade thing we're gonna need, which is the uh, metal alloys, unless that is titanium. I think metal alloys is unlocked via gold and we want that for the build gun too currently using the build gun version 1 don't like those blocks they freak me out they just like drop from the ceiling as well you're out of place I still want like a zip line down, that would be wicked. Got a grapple to get up and a zip line down, that would be great. There's our gold. Right, batteries. There we go, there we go. we've got one battery. See, if I had a pyrothermic generator, even because of the depth we're at, we couldn't use it underground due to um, efficiency. Underground, once you go below about a 200 or 150 threshold, your uh, pyrothermic generator becomes inert, it just does not work. Its efficiency is basically below zero. Oh wow, we got lost four. I didn't take long. Wicked. Right, we've now got over a hundred gold. And we've given it quite a bit of power. But that will fill up long before it runs out of power, so I'm not too worried. And I can hear those mine um uh, hear those cow blocks. Oh wow. 
did not really want to do that. Because damage means hearts, and hearts means energy. So as you can see, that bar there is the progress to replenishing hearts. And I believe this is our lithium just up there. So we might as well whack one of those lithium, um, one of these batteries, power storage blocks. Don't need to, but it's just more convenient. There we go. Right, we're going to continue our ascent. I have to do some research to see what's changed because there's been a couple of updates to Fortress Craft Evolved lately that I haven't actually taken much notice of. So I may have to do some research and find out what's changed. Search based anyway. Doesn't look like it, just the compressed coal block from HMK's mod. Right, I want to jump on this research station. Yeah, the um, metal alloys isn't there, so I'm assuming that that is titanium or nickel that unlocks that one. So I'm going to take full advantage of that because they're all going to the same place anyway. So I might as well just load them all up. Got plenty of iron ingots. Got 500 of those. Got lots of lithium now. start crafting solar panels when we get a little bit more gold so that'll be cool I like solar energy especially in this game in this uh, rush mode because we could use solar energy on here rather than coal Just like put a solar panel on here because solar power is very, very useful. I'm a big fan of solar energy. Look at Arthur, he looks so cool with all his upgrades. He's got his hat, he's got his monocle. His moustache, got his solar panels, his battery, battery core, energy core. It's funny how you can have access to the transmitter too, which high, requires the higher materials before you even found them. Well, saying that you could come out pile hub before you had access to any of the others. 
Right, coal, we've got quite a lot of coal now, so let's have a look at some of these t uh, blocks. So, what's the bricks? Rough hewn rock and coal. We may have to build something soon. See how much that's what we got, okay. But uh, we got a lot of dirt. Ooh, we got a lot of dirt. Right, and rough you and rock the rest up. Not gonna look too great for now, but floor's a floor. Train. Currently at the 12 minute mark, collecting some resources. I'm still not sure why it's doing that little dot there, that's a bit peculiar. I've not noticed that before. And yes, we will be getting rid of these red blocks. As, as weird as they are, they're only there to annoy DJ really, tell him to fix that bug. Right, we are going over to our manufacturing plant. We are going to craft a load of bricks. Tab seven bricks. There we go. And I'm going to finish. kind of want floor to be the same all over. That'll do us for now, probably. Maybe, hopefully. Right, okay, we've got a bit of an area. How many? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. You know what that'll do? We're going to mimic that shape and size. So many is that? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I'm going to carve out a bit of this mountain.
go, we're going to clear out a nice bit of area. And I'm just going to run around. Wow. Didn't break that. Nope, that's placed it in one place. Right, that's the edges all cleared off, apart from that bit. clearing the city a bit. Right. Sweet. Oh, I missed two bits. There we go. So this is going to be our right, oh, little decorative basey looking thing. That's where we're going to use some of the uh, blocks from HMK's Broken Moss mod. position you can kind of build it all like that <laughs> so this is going to be the start of that anyway I might fill this bit in or I might extend that out even now we'll fill it in Anyway, that's going to be the start of our base. We've got quite a few of those bricks, so I'm just going to mimic the shape of this. Alright, how much energy have we got? Ingots, even. Uh, gold, how are we doing on that? 58. 57. Alright, let's see if we can make our first couple of solar panels. So we're going to go tab 7, lovely, we've got two solar panels now, so this will be going straight on our iron, because currently I'm unhappy with how inefficient this is, it's burning through coal right now tomorrow. Batteries are draining quite fast there. Let's see how they do with a couple of solar panels on them. Oh, it sounds like they're getting a little bit filled. It's getting louder, that's good. They're generating more than they're using. That is good. Two solar panels might be all it needs. 
that's a collecting rate of 100% and that's a 100% too. Right, I'm going to place those further forward. It's eternal day, so that's going to continue to run. Sweet. That was why I was so glad to find some gold. These are both empty now. Our iron's still flowing. Tin's slowly but surely getting there. Copper, you're perfect. So at this rate, it looks like all of this is cleared down move that just over here for now. Move only, there we go. No more ores to process. Right, we're gonna run down and check on our gold. Arthur, are you fully charged? Yep, right. We're gonna go down and get some more gold. Got 17, we need another 50 if we want to make a couple more. How's that doing? I think that was a, a large plane, wasn't it? 200? Oh no, 1600. 1 million plane. Oh, sorry, Bentus. Uh, is the volume very low on my mic? Just come across something as hard casing protecting something soft inside. Only explosive crack. That would be a hive mind. I don't know what the blue light is. I think that's just. Uh, a bug or something like that. It's something to do with the hive minds. But sorry, I didn't see you in the uh, chat. I do apologise. In my own little world here. Uh, but what you're describing to me is a hive mind. And destroying that with explosives will get rid of the Minox, which eat all the resources off your conveyor belts for a short time until they, another one generates. I've not actually destroyed one myself, but I know you can build explosives and it can only be destroyed with explosives. And the explosive size is based on how much energy you give it, so it's just one bomb. But based on the amount of energy you provide to the block, uh, adjusts how big the explosion is. Did you really drain all that, or have we got mobs? Right, how much or we got 120 all oh, right that's just okay so it must have used 200 or uh, is Benton still there Bentus yeah he's still in the window I believe sorry mate right okay when do the Minox come out to play uh, the Minox are horrible press K U and look around those those purple blocks were they they must be behind me yeah that block there that is a hive mind so I might be able to show you that if I'll get close enough Yes, is that what you're referring to? Unknown block. See, these are hive mines, and they will produce a mob known as a, um, a Minox. Minox will just jump on any conveyor belt below a certain depth, I believe. 
So if I was to play, say, a basic conveyor belt like I've got here, because it's near a hive mind, uh, sorry, a minox, uh, yeah, hive mind, the minox will spawn on these conveyor belts, and if there's any resources on them, they will eat them. And that's quite a big one, so I might scan that and get as much research as I can on it. Yeah, see, there's a Minoc. And he, although he doesn't appear to, he's actually linked with this, this conveyor belt. So you can either kill him by breaking the conveyor belt. And that is our 26 minute alarm. You can either break him, uh, kill him by breaking the conveyor belt, which will halt your resources. Or you can shoot him and kill him. He'll drop rubble, I believe. But Minox, look, there we go, he's back again because he's getting. Basically, they'll steal resources from there to make these uh, casings for their hive mind. So basically, the more resources they get, the harder these hive mines are going to be to destroy. So, um. This one is on the surf. Yeah, they can spawn various different heights. It's very unusual to see them at the surface, but they do do that. So, best way I can demonstrate this, I'm going to put a um, hopper there. I'm going to put... Uh, what have I got? Have I got any rubble? Oh, wow, that's a couple there. So, I'll put this dirt in there. And as you can see, they just took the dirt off of there and they're actually feeding it to him and I've just ran out of energy so I'm gonna die I'm gonna... so there we go we killed the hive mine uh, the minox based because we um, we broke the block they were laying on and how did I get in here I got distracted and forgot about my energy Alright, we're going to run through here, we're going to steal that little bit of energy. But yeah, these hive mines are horrible things. They are a pain in the backside. And usually mess up my plans along the lines. So, like, if you if you saw my iron shaft over here, the way I I get around them is I either build ways, methods of transportation that they can't attack. They can't currently, they can attack your basic conveyors, your regular conveyors, but your pipes, they can't attack your pipes, which are tier 3 transport. And um, if you've got a, right, I'm going to try and warm myself up before we die. There we go. If you've got a matter mover, they can't take resources from those. So if I jump through here on my iron, that's getting energy from the surface, so I'm going to steal some of that. But if I was to place a um, conveyor here, we'd probably get a Minox spawn. Uh, have we got any around here? So, oh. I think we got that's below us. Yeah, we've got one below us over here. So chances are that conveyor belt would spawn at Minoc eventually. Doesn't seem to right now, but eventually you'd get a Minoc on there. Yeah, there we go. So, in order to prevent that from stealing resources, I used a matter mover, which requires energy to transfer items. So, it will send items to an attached hopper in a 64 meter radius, based on the direction it's facing. And so, that's why I've got my battery there. So, it's powering the matter mover, as well as the drill. So, that's the way I've got of preventing Minox from eating all my resources. But you can also just as easily have a turret on your conveyor line. And I've already gone over on this episode, so I'm going to stop the episode here. So thank you for watching. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it a night as well, uh, Bentus, as I've got work early in the morning. So uh, I don't believe it will hatch, but um, 
it's just the mob inside uh, inside it protected by the um, by its casing. But if you want to get rid of the Minox, the best thing you can do is to blow it up with a charged explosive. In fact, I think I've got a charged explosives um, recipe somewhere. Uh, actually, I think that's research, but we'll do that later. There we go. It's got shielding and soft, vulnerable core. Only explosives will crack it open. So don't have to worry about them. They just spawn in Minox. So thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.